Maybe I'm wearing pants. Maybe I'm not. You'll never know. Hello, my lovely vixens. It's Foxy here. And today I'm doing a much kind of much requested tour of all my equipment that I use to make my videos and specifically Vengeance Rain. Now what will not be included in this is the props I use and my sets simply because that's not my technical equipment. Technical equipment tour! <laughs> this is very much requested as I get comments all the time what camera do you use, what editing software do you use, so I've decided to put it all into one big video and give you way more information than you need. So here we go. It's so hot in here that I have ice packs wrapped around my legs because I can't have fans or the window open. It is so hot. Get me out of this state. First, all the stuff that I'm going to guide you through. We're going on a technical journey. <sighs> First, all the stuff that I'm going to show you has to do with my camera and filming equipment. I have had so many tripods over the years. I'm going to start out by showing you those. First off is the Gorillapod, and this is the massive Gorillapod. It's by Joby, and it is made so that it can wrap around... It's stuck on my finger. It's made so that... It's made so that it can wrap around trees and do all that sort of stuff and get all over the place. Now, the thing that I hate about this tripod is that it's impossible to straighten the legs once you've messed them up as I did. And unless you have a level, which I luckily have on my camera, it is impossible to get straight shots ever again. Ever. If you don't want your shots to be sideways, don't get this tripod. When I had my smaller camera, my handy cam, I also had a smaller version of this thing that I apparently like to throw around a lot. The next thing that I have are these, and they are the Manfrotto tripods. I don't know exactly what model they are, but they are very small, and they are absolutely perfect. These are my favorite tripods ever. I have four of them. I lost two. This is for my camera, and this is for my monitor. They are absolutely the perfect height for shooting model horses, especially really hot. And they do an amazing job of carrying my camera, which is extremely large and extremely heavy. It's very hard to find small tripods that are good to shoot models that will be able to carry a massive camera. So these do the job extremely well. I have so many of them. I lose them all the time and I hope I don't lose these ones. I'll keep you updated. They'll probably be gone by next week. My last tripod that I have is the Benro tripod and this is what my camera is currently set up on right now. And it's a great tripod if you are looking into this kind of model. I know this tripod is around $200. Next off, I'm going to show you the love of my life. It's not Michael. This is my monitor and it is the Marshall C10 something monitor. It is a seven inch monitor and it comes with a crap ton of equipment. It has a sunshade, hence the fluffy -ness. This monitor is basically, it's, it's great, but it's hell at the same time. It's good for the newer Canon models, but since I have a 5D Mark II, which is an older model, this is absolutely awful to use. It shows you exactly what's going on on your camera, and since it's a smaller screen that the Mark II shoots through, it's like this big, and the colors go funky, and it's like... <sighs> it has a focal feature that I love so much, and I only got it because my LCD screen on my Mark II does not flip up, it stays exactly where it is, which makes it extremely hard to shoot my models, which are always on the ground. So this is a lifesaver. Now we're going to move into all the technical equipment that I use that has to do with my computer and stuff like that. So we're gonna start out with hard drives. This little monster is my oldest hard drive and it is my backup drive. It is not very portable and it is it has to plug into a power outlet to work. It is crazy and I'm pretty sure it is a terabyte of data and it is all full. Now these two are my go-to hard drives. One is for all my extra stuff and this one is solely for Vengeance Rain and Winnipeg and my other series that I'm working on. And this is the G Drive Mini and they each have 750 gigs on them. Both are almost full for me and I think I have two more somewhere. 
just laying around in case I need more of them as I've filled my entire computer too. Next hard drive is one of the other G drives. This is the G drive mobile and this has 500 gigs so it's a little bit too small for me but it has all of my empathy information on it. Now I'm going to let you guys know some of the editing things that I use. I have a Mac laptop and it is the MacBook Pro. My only problem with this laptop is that it does not run my previous version of Final Cut. So I used to use Final Cut Studio and now I have to use Final Cut Studio 2. So all of my raw tracks and stuff like that are cut in iMovie, which is the newer version of iMovie that comes with the Mac computers. Now the editing system that I do use is Final Cut Studio, specifically Final Cut Pro 7. I don't quite know how much this system runs for, it's up in the thousands. That's how much you would pay if you're looking to get Final Cut Pro 7, which I highly recommend getting over the new version, which is Final Cut X. So to edit my photos, I use PicMonkey, which is a free website. I have Photoshop, but I haven't had the chance to install it on my computer yet. If you're looking for a wonderful free photo editing website, then I highly, highly recommend PicMonkey. It's amazing. You can also buy the Royale membership, which means that you have access to all of their features and it's only $5 a month. And that's what I have to edit my photos. Now to record my voice, my microphone that I use is a blue snowball and I have the white version. It is a low end mic that does not cost a lot of money but it is great quality for what you're paying. I'm not a professional voice actor, so I wanted to get a mic that works very well, but not something that was crazy expensive because it's not something that I do super frequently other than for Briar Horse movies. So this was a mic that was really great and it does its job wonderfully. Now lastly, my camera that I use, which I probably should have gotten to a lot. Earlier. So I use the Canon 5D Mark II and it is my favorite camera ever. I have the kit lens that came with it and I also have a 135mm zoom lens which is what I use for everything. This is my absolute favorite camera. It's extremely pricey so if you're looking to start out making videos, I don't know if you would just jump on this right away. Canon has a lot of less expensive, really nice cameras such as the Rebel series, the Rebel T3, the Rebel T3i, these are great cameras and they're not as crazy expensive. So this was my equipment tour. I answered all of your questions about all the stuff that I use to make my videos and I hope it was helpful to you guys in making your films and videos as well. <laughs> make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Did you even see that thumb? It went by so fast. And subscribe to my channel for more content. Lightning hands. I hope you vixens have a lovely day. I love you all so much. Bye. Shine on.